Alright guys, so we're checking out that Arate THCA hemp flower. So I'm super stoked to get right into this. Um, I think it's Arate. It could be Arate. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that's what we're checking out today. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can go check out their website. But yeah, let's hop right into this, guys. <laughs> about to see is meant for educational entertainment purposes only i'm not recommending or advising that you try any of the products i review all right guys before i get any further in this video i do want to plug myself if you guys like this video please like and subscribe i always appreciate all the support anyways without further ado let's talk about thca and what it actually is so thca is a cannabinoid obviously it's um it's gonna be the version of delta 9 thc before it gets decarboxylated so it looks like this and essentially, um, when you decarboxylate uh, delta or THCA, it becomes delta-9 THC. So what is decarboxylation? Well, to put it simply, it is um, when you burn your weed. So when you burn your weed, it decarboxylates. So essentially, this THCA weed, once it gets burned, is going to get decarboxylated and it will transform into delta-9 THC. So this is pretty much like regular weed, except it is hemp product and it can be legally sold uh, pretty much all over the U.S. Uh, due to the 2018 farm bill. Pretty dope. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so we got some different strains that I ordered. I ordered a couple different samples from them. I'm super hyped. Uh, and they got some pretty high percentages of THCA. So we're going to see what it does. So I'll tell you about what we got. We got that Hippie Crippler. That's one of the strains we got. This one's testing at 19.9% uh, THCA. So we'll see if that one's good. It's going to be Sativa. These are all indoor, by the way. Um, we also got some Death Star. This guy's gonna be testing at 23% THCA. So this one's actually pretty high, gonna be an indica. And then we also got that green crack. So obviously it's gonna be the sativa. This one's testing at 21%. And uh, they're actually nice enough to send me a sample of some Afghan skunk um, for free. So super dope, thanks uh, Arate, I appreciate it. Um, without any further ado, let's start taking a peek at these flowers and see what they look like. All right guys, so let's start off with that Death Star. Um, this is gonna be that highest tester. It's gonna be that 23%. So I wanna open it up and check it out. Comes in these like little Mylar bags. I will say that they had very discreet shipping. Um, I didn't have to sign for anything. They were super cool. And they wrote me a little handwritten note, which is kind of cool too. So let's get a smell test on this Death Star real quick. Very stinky. It's got like a musky, very planty flavor. I mean, all weed is a plant, right? But uh, this has got like a really planty flavor. Let's see if I can get a peek at this. So it looks like we got some long colas. I only ordered a gram each of these because I just wanted to get a couple samples just to see if it was any good. I didn't want to be sitting on a bunch of weed if it wasn't good. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what that Death Star is looking like. I'm gonna get close up pictures of all of these here in a little bit, but we're just gonna kind of run through these. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. We're just gonna kind of run through these and uh, we'll take a quick peek at them and then I'll give you some other shots of them. But that's the Death Star, smelling pretty nice. Um, usually hemp, you know, has a little bit of a funky smell, but the Death Star smells pretty nice. All right, this here is gonna be the Hippie Crippler. Let's give it a smell test. Okay, this one's got a little bit more of a citrusy aroma. Citrusy sweet aroma going on. It looks like this bud is just one nug, very dense looking. That Hippie Crippler, I've never tried that strain, but I love that name. <laughs> okay. And then we also got the green crack. Um, I actually am pretty stoked on this green crack. I bought some real green crack from the Dispo and we're gonna compare the two just to see um, if the effects are different. So let's check out this green crack, see what it smells like. It smells pretty good. It doesn't have like a strong smell, but what I do smell is pretty good. Here's what that flower is looking like. The flower looks really pretty, super frosty. I'll get some close-up pics of all these so you guys can uh, kind of tell for yourself. But yeah, so far the THCA weed is looking dank. Alright 
right guys, I hope those close-ups did this weed a little bit of justice. Um, so to just start off, we're just gonna start smoking. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with that Death Star since it's the highest testing. It's gonna be 23% THCA. So I think it's gonna have the best chance of getting us messed up. So we're gonna give it a shot. I loaded it up into the Illuminati Hammer Bubbler. So let's just give it a try and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Anyway guys, cheers. I hope you guys are smoking along. Flavor's good. I like the flavor. It's not super harsh. I know sometimes like straight up CBD weed can be kind of harsh. Other hemp weed is sort of harsh. Um, it's actually pretty smooth. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure about the effect yet. Let's take another rip. There's still a little bit left in here, so we'll take another rip. Yeah. I do feel it a little bit. Um, it's not super strong, I will say that. Um, usually like a 23% weed is it's a pretty average percentage for uh, Delta 9 THC. But with the THCA, um, I don't think it's quite as strong. I do feel it though, a little bit behind the eyes. Uh, the Death Stars at Indica, subtle body relaxation. I definitely think it's stronger than Delta 8 though. I will say that. I've tried some Delta 8 flower in the past. Um, pretty similar percentage wise and this is definitely better. So I'm excited for the other ones. Let's try out um, the Hippie Crippler next. All right, next up, I loaded up a little bit of that heavy Crippler. I will say guys, if you uh, are like a finger grinder, I was just trying to finger grind this stuff real quick. Usually with that hemp flour, um, it's not too hard. This stuff is dense, um, both the Death Star and the Hippie Crippler, super dense weed. So I will give that to Rata Hemp. They got some good stuff. Um, I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Let's hit it. I really like that Hippie Crippler. Um, it had more of like a harsh flavor, but it wasn't harsh on the lungs, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I'm in, I am starting to feel it, guys. I will say that. Uh, very similar to that, like, normal Delta 9 cannabis. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking this a lot. As far as flower goes, as far as hemp flower, I should say, goes, this is probably my new favorite. Um, super stoked about it, guys. All right, there's one more to check out. We got that green crack next. And I got some real green crack from the Dispo. We're going to put it up against the uh, THCA green crack and see how it does. All right, so the green crack that I'm gonna be comparing the Arate green crack to is gonna be the green crack I picked up from Epic Remedy in Colorado Springs. Um, this is straight up out of a Dispo. I will say right off the bat, um, this green crack from the Dispo is smelling a lot different than the green crack from, uh, you know, Arate. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I think some of the phenotypes are being expressed differently in these two different um, strains. I would consider these different strains just because this one smells a lot different and it's got a lot subtler of a smell. This one's got a really pungent smell. Um, also, this green crack is actually testing lower in Delta 9 THC that I picked up from the Dispo. It's testing in at 18%. This guy's testing in at 21% THCA. So in theory, if all of the THCA is to decarboxylate from this weed, it should get me higher than the Dispo weed. Let's find out. So without any further ado, we're gonna hit the THCA weed first and we'll see if it's uh, gonna be a little bit stronger or not. So let's get right into it. Cheers, guys. That one got me a little bit, a little bit harsh. Definitely feel it though. Um, so those last two, the Hippie Crippler and the Green Crack are both sativas. And I definitely feel a little bit stronger in my opinion. I'm not sure if that's just I'm more affected by sativas or what that is, but I like them both. Let's compare this Green Crack to the one I picked up from the Dispo. 
All right, guys, last but not least, let's check out the Dispo weed and see if it compares to the TMCA weed. I already smoked this strain a lot, and I love it, so let's hit it for you guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna be straight up honest. I think this one's better. Um, you know, going to the Dispo, you know what's in your weed for the most part. Most of the growers are really good, really reliable. I know Epic Remedies got it. Um, they got it down to a science over there, and um, it does hit better. Um, but I will say, for the Arate, I can't say their name, I'm sorry. I think it's Arate. I think their uh, hemp flower is probably some of the best hemp flower you can get on the market. I noticed that they also have THCA concentrate, like live rosin I think I saw, and uh, even like a bubble hash, um, full melt even, which I'm super stoked to see that. So definitely stay tuned, I wanna check that out in the future. But for this video, I will say Arate Hemp does got it on lock with their hemp weed. Still not 100% comparable to Dispo weed, but we're getting there, we're getting there guys. For weed that you can order online, it's probably the best you can get at this moment. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out my other videos. Um, I got a bunch of videos. Go subscribe, comment, let me know what you might want to see in the next video. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.